So Ken, what do you got for us? So we got this brand new LG monitor. I don't even think this is out yet, right? No, this is the new Ultra Gear. I'm actually really excited to try this monitor. So we briefly got to take a look at it at IFA, and it looked really nice, but I didn't actually get to play any games on it. But with such a high resolution, ultra wide, and it's 120 hertz with G-Sync, I'm ready. All right, the setup is looking a whole lot better right now. So just to recap, first of all, we do have my gaming PC, and this is a lot of power because it is powering a very nice monitor. A monitor that's been overclocked to 120 hertz. Dude. Ooh. That's gonna look cool. And the red lights up too. Yeah. Everything lights up. So it's we awesome. should almost, for the final version of the setup, leave this in an open area so we can kind of show this off on the back. So as far as the gaming side, you do have that high resolution. It is a not only ultra wide display, but it also is curved. Okay, so we've had some really nice Fortnite setups lately, especially with the ultimate Thunderbolt. But this, look at this. I'm playing at full 1440p on a curved ultra wide at almost exactly 120 frames per second. That is obscenely smooth. That's just not even funny. Now I've seen a couple monitors that are ultra wide, but they're much lower resolution, but you're getting a full 1440p panel. What's also nice about that is that you're not losing that vertical screen real estate for things like video editing, which is the secondary use of this monitor, as it actually has a full nano IPS display, which means that you can do some proper creative work on here. You can watch some ultra wide video, you can do gaming. It really can do everything. That sounds like a huge marketing tagline. But this legitimately is one of the most impressive monitors I've ever tried because usually when it comes to gaming monitors, you have to make some kind of sacrifice. But the Ultra Gear really doesn't make you make that sacrifice. As far as I know, everyone on the team who has tried the new screen from BenQ is using the feature with 240 hertz. It's so amazing, the transition is, is so great. I think for me the most important when I play the game is that I feel that all my actions directly represented on the monitor. This is just another level on top of that, I would say. Uh, it improves your gameplay a lot, you can, you can react much faster on these kinds of monitors. And like once once you play on 240 hertz, you can't go back.